Michigan is halfway through the spring football season after completing their eighth practice on April 1st. There were only two workouts during week number three. You have 34 days to get your 15 days in, and so you want to be able to maximize your time. And we like having a day off than practicing a day off. They wanted to get them to help them recover a little bit, and two, to kind of also maintain their lifting schedule. And so it's worked out very well. And fortunately, the weather's been terrific. We've been able to get outside seven to eight times already. Easter weekend, you're giving them Saturday off. Do they get to leave campus, or do you want them sticking around? Well, we're going to meet in the morning and go over to film a little bit and uh, watch some things for a couple hours, and then we're going to give them Saturday and, of course, Sunday, Easter Sunday off. And some of them may go home, but there's a lot of guys a long way from home, so they may go with a teammate somewhere or just enjoy it. I'm going to tell them to get off their feet and rest and relax and be ready to go next week. Sounds maybe funny, but you have a couple of veteran quarterbacks, even though they're just sophomores. Make this spring a bit easier at that position? Well, you would think so. <laughs> and sometimes they look like they've played a little bit. Sometimes they look like uh, just second-year players. But, you know, I think the thing is different now is they understand when you give them a coaching point, they grasp a lot quicker, whereas the first year when they do that, everything's kind of confusing for a while. But uh, they work, they're they working very hard. I'm pleased with their progress. we still got a lot of work to do, but we're only halfway through spring practice. So many fans want to know about your freshman, number seven. How's he doing? Dev is doing well. He's very conscientious. His head's probably spinning a little bit, but you see him picking up some concepts, and you can understand that he's starting to get it. I think coming here early is definitely a big benefit for him as far as learning and grasping the offense, and then he'll pick it back up again in August. Again, with a couple sophomores, do you implement your entire playbook this, no. this coming camp? I would be happy offensively if we got 70% of it in. Uh, more importantly for us is to be able to execute what we do have in. And so we'll probably scale back even more so toward the end of spring and make sure we can execute uh, what we're doing both offensively and defensively. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Michigan's offensive line will be a strength this fall with David Mulk returning from an injury at center and senior Steve Schilling considered one of the best guards in the country. Nobody's really talking about what they're supposed to do anymore. Everybody kind of knows. They're talking more about perfecting things and really refining those techniques. And so, you know, a lot, lot less confusion out there, you know, except for some of the young guys that are still coming along. But definitely uh, all the older guys have a firm grasp on it, and they can help bring those young guys along. Overall improvement coming together as a team, kind of working the freshmen in, getting back into the groove, uh, I think is kind of what happens the first half. And then the second half, kind of polishing up those things, eliminating those mistakes that you see early on, like, like false starts and, and little holes and things like that, polishing up your techniques and coming together as a team, really. There is experience at every position, but still not the depth. Although the redshirt freshmen are making strides, especially at receiver. We veterans all around now, you know, with experience. So um, coming to practice every day is fun because you know everybody and, and, and it goes so fast now because you know the offense and it's really like no hesitation of the route running. And that's what everybody on the field now. Every year is different. What's new? What's different this year? Just uh, this year is actually getting a lot of the same guys back and just having them understand everything, understand our tempos and practice, the way we practice. And it's just a lot of fun out here right now. And the competition is great. we got competition in every position now. It's a lot of fun. we got a couple quarterbacks that actually know the playbook this year. Yeah, that's the fun thing, to get a returning guy for a second year in a row that, that has had the offseason to study it and kind of understand exactly what we want, have studied themselves on tape, and veterans around them. That's the most important thing now. Some of the guys around them have been three years now, so it's all, it was working out pretty good now. Your position, the tight ends, how they doing? They're doing uh, really well. You know, we always want to use those guys in multiple sets, and, and you see a lot more of that from them guys and, and being able to flex out and play attached to the tackle and maybe move around a little bit in some other spots. So, uh, And they're experienced guys now, you know, three guys, and I expect them to do things and lead. So I'm excited about that competition. I feel like we got two starters there with Webb and Koga, and, and uh, they're really friends, and they're competing, and it makes it fun. Coordinator of the offense, what do you hope? to accomplish with the whole group this spring? Consistency, you know, the, the eliminate the minimal mistakes, eliminate the negative plays, and uh, for everybody to play hard, not get lows. You know, the plays are coming down because they understand them, they're executing them better, but now we want to eliminate those little things, those negative plays because of just mental errors and, and uh, making them accountable for that. Is spring different at all for you in terms of practice? You're growling out there, you're coaching them up, you're also having fun. Yeah, you know, and that's one of uh, Coach Rod's five goals for this uh, this spring, and you know, the last one is to have fun this spring. And, uh, it, and it's fun, this, you know, you're not preparing for games or anything, so you're kind of tweaking some things and, and uh, ourselves on offense from film study, and the guys understand that we can adjust things quicker now because they know the base pretty good, and uh, I think they can cut loose and have fun and do that. Thank you, Coach. Yes, thank you. Next week, we'll check out the special teams and meet some of the true freshmen who have already enrolled and are practicing. This has been Inside Michigan Football at MGoBlue.com.